tunaje mara kwanza nilipata hapa good good tukafunzwa lakini sema ndio alikuwa anatufunza alafu kuanzia hapo jazizi kama vijana tukaanza kufanya kazi nao na tukajenga mashini zetu tukaanza kutoka nje na tukatafuta kazi ya yeah. uh, hii technology haitumii pesa nyingi kwa sababu advantage yake hainanga ile moto ya mshanga unataka cement peke yake unachanganya na dust alafu wewe tu ni kusindilia alafu unaweka level hakuna kitu kingine lakini ile nyingine ya, ya mawe iko na cost mingi kwa sababu unaweka mchanga unaweka leba leba ni watu wengi lakini ya dust inafaa kuwa na mtu mmoja peke yake vijana wenyewe wanajenga ni kwa advice wajenga na hii technology kwa sababu hii ni nyumba unaweza hata wewe mwenyewe ukiwa na hii mashini unaweza jijagia mwenyewe kama huko busy sana kama tuseme wakati walikizo umeenda kupumzika unaweza chukua mashini yako unajenga hata kama ni feet 10 hii technology inaitwa continuous interlocking blocks. Hii technology inasaidia juu sio kama kujaga na hii mawe yako wale. Juu mawe yako wale unatumia mchaga na unaziba hiyo joint, si ndio? Sasa hii, hii hakuna kuziba joint. Hii unaenda continuous bila kuweka hiyo joint. Things have gone up. It can go to about 20,000. And you see with 20,000 you have created employment for more than 10 young men in a village how many villages do we have in nyeri we have a very big number of villages more than 1000 so if you have 10 10 10 10 you have created employment for 10000 young people in the villages the technology that we are seeing here in 2020 No, 2020, when we are building the big hotel, we had a very big problem about uh, the materials, the stones. We could order the stones in quarries. It takes about a week, two weeks, before you get the building materials, not the stones. So this idea provoked me to think big or the problem provoked me to think big because i saw that i'm doing my project because of the raw materials that is that is the stones and i thought when i was sleeping i thought what can we do in order to continue building performing as we were doing because we had a time limit and we, and i had decided that i'm going to finish after du a certain duration So uh, one day in the evening I started drawing and thinking how can we make ourselves our own learning machine instead of getting the ma the, the, the stones the omare from the quarry I thought why don't we make our own machine that can make a continuous building of the blocks That's the time that I started drawing some pictures on what you are seeing here and I went to an engineer in Nakuru an engineer whom I knew that he can be able to fabricate I gave him the story we started by constructing one the first one it was not able to open as you see the food is opening here we went to the second one we bought material again then it could not line up straight or keep left or as you see what is doing we went to the third one the third one became more complicated it didn't perform even like the first one and then we went to the fourth one and the fourth one is the one that we succeeded by having what you are seeing here it can build it, it, it not it can it has built the story building that you are seeing here the big hotel it lands continuous no gaps you don't use in 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 cement to connect the one block like the blocks with the other with the other block so this one you make a continuous as you are seeing this wall it is a continuous one there's no gaps of the blocks and these young men here i train them 
what to be doing and I brought other people whom they worked with and now this one they are experts they have also built their own homes with the machines one that's why many times court have said there was no proper public participation in many things that have been done in Kenya from the county level to the national government level because you have seen even the court saying there was no proper public participation so what they could have done they could have gone to the loud and asked the community how can you put up affordable housing they could have come and learned about this technology and this technology it could have reduced the budget it could have reduced the cost of building these houses so it's very very important to do something called public participation